Life is not about being rich. Life is not about being famous. Life is not about being popular. Life is about helping others, connecting with people, and knowing that someone is smiling because of your presence in their lives. Good evening and a very, very warm welcome to Choose Not to Use Ardi National College in association with Car Police, uh, with BKS, Rotary Club, and MNCDF. Can we have a huge round of applause, guys? I'd like to begin. I'd like to begin today's evening with a very, very interesting real-life story of a little boy, an eight-year-old boy, and his father would always travel all over the world. He was a, in the ship. He was a captain of the ship. This boy one day wanted to also travel with his father and see all the countries. So it so happened that his father took him on the ship, and as in the night, this eight-year-old was sleeping in his room. Like the Titanic, the ship hit a rock. And as his father was the captain of the ship, he came running to him. This is at two o'clock in the night. He came running to him and said, "Son, stand here with the pole. I will come to get you." The entire ship was evacuated one by one. They had all the rescue boats, and all the entire ship was evacuated. Everybody felt sorry for this little eight-year-old boy holding a pole and saying, "They all told him, 'Come with us.'" This boy didn't move from there, and he kept holding the pole, and he said, "No, my father will come to get me." Slowly, slowly, the entire ship was evacuated. Everybody was out, and the ship started sinking. It was sinking right up to the end, and the pole started sliding. But this boy kept holding on to the pole. Finally, the entire ship went almost down, and the pole was about to slide into the sea. And that's when his father's In a helicopter, sent a rope. He held that rope and he climbed up to the helicopter. And it so happened. Next day, they discovered that all the people in the rescue boats were drowned. Only the people on the helicopter were saved. And that's the story of human faith. I want to tell each and every student: no matter how much difficulties we see in our life, no matter how much challenges we see in our life, hold on. Have human faith. God has given us a very very healthy body we've got fantastic parents who go much beyond our duty it's our job to make them proud it's our job to keep our body healthy do not succumb to any of the substances drugs cigarettes alcohol temptations that you get be high in life work hard because life is not about creating yourself life is about finding yourself So it's my absolute, absolute honor and privilege to welcome all these esteemed dignitaries to this program. Choose not to use anti-substance awareness program. I'd like to begin by welcoming. I have no words for the Joint Commissioner of Mumbai Police, Sri Vishwas Nandre Patil. I have said this before, and I say it again. I'm always at a loss of words. I have no words to express how much, sir, we are in awe of you. You're such an inspirational personality, such a motivational person. I think if anybody has heard him only once, they are a fan of his for life. Thank you so much, sir, for gracing this occasion and accepting our invitation. A very, very warm welcome to the additional commissioner of police, Mr. Sandeep Karne. Thank you so much, sir. For being here today, a very very warm welcome to the DCP, Mr. Manjunath Singhe. I have to tell you this about Mr. Manjunath Singhe. When I heard that he left his high-paying job at IBM, did his IPS, and today he is serving as a DCP of the area, which is BKC, which is notorious for restaurants, pubs, and clubs. But he holds on to his honesty and ethics. Really, sir, a salute to you from all of us. Sir. So good to see that we have upright officers in the right places. A very, very warm welcome to our partners, our associates, Mr. Ramu, President of the Rotary Club of Bombay, Bandra, pillar of support, rock solid, standing behind me, Rahul Rohra, 
from the executive and I don't know how many times we have gone back and forth. I just want to tell you, Rahul, finally we did it. So thank you so much for being such a pillar of support. A very, very warm welcome to Advocate Mr. Nichani. Thank you from the BKS. And Advocate Kruvan Kumar Karnani who's also going to enlighten us about how uh, you could go to an NGO. They are doing a lot of work for substance abuse. A very, very warm welcome to Mr. Vivek Devnani from the Khara Jim Khana. A few days ago, you hosted a program. Thank you so much for joining us today. A very, very warm welcome to all my vice principals, faculty, support staff, Mumbai police, who is always there for us. And of course, a very, very warm welcome to all the wonderful students from all the 50 colleges of Mumbai who have come here today for this program. A very, very warm welcome. There is just two things that I want to say. One month ago, we celebrated Women's Day. And when you get up on Women's Day, if you can see the days, I'm the only woman standing here. Uh, when you get up on Women's Day, you get 700 to 800 WhatsApps about women. But I think my favorite one is behind every successful woman is she herself. Because once she decides what she wants to do, she goes ahead and does it. Whenever people see a strong, independent woman, they always say she's like an iron lady. I wonder why they compare a woman to iron. Because iron can rot, iron can rust, and if you hit it very hard, it breaks. I think women should be equated with steel because women are flexible, women are malleable, and no matter how hard you hit them, they never break. <laughs> Lastly, I just want to share something that I share with my students often, something that my father taught me. I was very young when I was married, and one day I told my father, I was so comfortable in your house. Why did you send me away? And he said something very, very important. He said, under the shade of the tree, a seed can only grow to a sapling and become a plant. It has to be planted somewhere else to grow, evolve, and become big, as big or even bigger than the tree. And that's the lesson. Each of us are so privileged. He told me, you must understand that in your life, you enjoy so much privileges, so much love, and so much blessings. You must see to it that in your life, you give back to society some of the privileges, some of the love, and some of the blessings. So I just want to tell the Joint Commissioner, the Additional Commissioner, and the DCP, and the Mumbai Police, if there's anything that me or my college can do for Mumbai Police, we'll be more than happy to do it for you. So thank you very much to each and every one of you for joining us. And I conclude with the famous words, don't be pushed by the fears in your mind, but be led by the dreams in your heart. If people doubt how far you can go, go so far that you can't hear them anymore. Thank you so much.